I grew up seeing a father that abuses the wife. If there is any lie that you must never listen to, coming from either your parents, your friend, the so-called loved ones, even the clergymen, then this is one of the lies you should never listen to. What is it? The lie that you should never run away from the spouse that abuses you in marriage. Word and today you're welcome to the Cetra's Luck family. I remain Joket Soluani Cetra, and it's a pleasure having you around today. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and press the notification bell. And thank you to all that have been supporting us. I have with me my funny husband. This is that's one of the most handsome, yekebu African initials, adrenaline pumping, a physical husband. And today we are discussing something. Hmm, Somehow, somehow, very, very painful. Today, we want to be discussing around uh, the marital lights that killed one popular Nigerian musician, gospel music artist, by name Osinachi Wanchuku. It's a very painful death. Today, we are going to be talking about the death of this uh, gospel music artist. Uh, that the speculation has been ongoing that the husband actually ended up sending her to early grave. I think it would be the worst... <laughs> I think it would not be nice starting up with me. Maybe you should start first because uh, it's something that links up to an experience I had before with respect to a husband beating the wife. So maybe you should start first. Reports that we could gather from social media and do, as in, and you know, we, I wasn't there and you weren't there, but allegedly we're told that it was the husband that kicked her on the chest that led to her being rushed to the hospital and she was in coma for some days before she gave up and this is not the first time the man has been doing this abusing this woman beating her up and even making sure that she wasn't able to meet up for most of her administrations and so many other things like that and this thing when you see this woman minister on stage I, I could remember one of our songs, Nare Kele, with Dr. Pastor Paul Edenche. That was the song I sang on the 12th through 13th of July 2021, last year, when I gave birth to my baby. She's a very spiritual singer. She sings with the all of her mind. Never knew maybe it was what she was going through, and she really carried God. I sang that song throughout the middle of the night, just praising God. In the morning, early hours of the morning, I went to deliver. So hearing this, this, I'm still trying to come out of the shot. It's something so painful. She's a great voice to this generation. When you listen to her sing, I don't understand Igbo language. Igbo language is the language of the people from the eastern parts of Nigeria, West Africa, the globe. But I don't understand that language. But when you just listen to us sing that song, calling the names of God, elogizing God in that language, you will be moved, you will be touched because she really lives the life. She carries the presence. So for somebody to now cut short this bright light, this shining light that is just and she 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 was very known for this equeme song you are the living god it's just too painful too painful too painful i don't even know what to say about the man and i don't even know what to say about people going through abuses in their marriage and that's just why we've come to educate young uh, couples and young africans today about the fact that you don't have to die there uh, my husband is going to come on. I think what was the challenge was maybe I heard, I saw another post where somebody said, if Osinachi are separated from her husband, nobody will call her Minister Osinachi. So, to, just permit me to say, to the blazes with the Minister of a thing. So, because life it's all about living your life to the fullest and doing what you're created for. It's not about the title. It's not about if people. If truly she she just I don't know what happened that she couldn't just speak to the right people and speak to the right voices that could just make sure that she she was out of that house to save her life. Even though people don't call her for ministration, I think she will just be there at, at least 
singing to uh, in the studio and releasing a voice to the world for people like us to be hearing. Not just that one man in the name of what. That man is so heartless, a man. And I know there are still so many heartless men like that, kicking their wife. Kick, you, you kicked the woman on the chest. You, she got into a state of coma, as it was allegedly said. I'm sure the woman would have, must have suffered so many injuries. In fact, I don't want to go into some things. Because when you see her most times, you see, you see her, she's always smiling, beeping with smile. But you just see her stature. It's not that maybe she's flourishing as in doing i don't even know what to say i would just like you to also comment and my husband will come up but if i except i want to tell a lie i was our death the death of osinachi wanchuku is really so painful to me because i also believe in singing the elegies of god in my own dialect yoruba language that's western and nigeria language and i was just even thinking of doing i don't even want to go into that i, I was just thinking of uh, thinking of myself and Hearing of her death is too painful to me. Too painful. And hearing of this type of death. <sighs> speechless. Wow. If there is any lie you should not allow anybody to draw you into, is the lie that you cannot be separated from a spouse that abuses you. Especially those ones that physically attack you. They are what? They are killers. They are murderers in embryo stage. And every opportunity to, you give them to see an excuse for them to continue doing what they do, they will never stop. And that is why I'm, I'm challenging all youths, uh, upcoming lovers, you know, upcoming lovers, people that are forming, I love him, I love him, he will change. They don't change. Men or women that raises up their hand to physically assault their spouse, they can never change. So far, you give them the opportunity to feel that they cannot be done away with, they will still continue to maltreat and malhandle you. Why do I consider myself as one of the few that can, that can really talk about this matter? Is because I grew up in a family where my dad physically assault, as in physically malhandle my mom. And I knew the hatred that grew up in my mind and the likes. But something surprising is that, uh, according to the stories we were getting on the social media, was the one that they said this man would tie the wife and ask the children to be beating her, flogging her. That, to me, is something that I feel appropriate authority should investigate. Because I want to even know the age of those children. I want to know what is really in the heart of those children because I remember when my mom uh, was physically being abused by my late dad, hmm, I was growing with the mindset and just asking God, I want to grow up. I want to grow up to the point that I can physically face my own father. The other angle I'm looking at this is that what would have made these children to be so much as in, is it that they are afraid of their father, their dad, that they can... Is telling them to beat their mom and they are forced, coerced into doing this. If that is actually true, then that man must be a monster. And I really want to verify the age of these children to really know if they can be cowed into doing this. Because I grew up with the mindset that I was ready. I was growing up because I saw what my dad was doing to my mom. And I still continue to say till date, had it been I'm a female, I might never get married because I wouldn't want any man to do what my own dad did to my mom. Physical assault. I remember the day my dad carried me just like this. I think I was at the age of uh, maybe three to five, between three and five. I still remember. I did something and he carried me up like this and left me in the air. So, so that you can understand the kind of perspective, the angle I'm going to be seeing this from is going to be different from yours. Maybe you grew up under a parent that gave you this parental love and care and the likes of them. But my own dad was a monster when it, came, when it comes to handling my mom. But I thank God, what made my mom to still be alive till date, even after about 20-something, what's 20-something, over 30 years that my dad died, 
was the fact that she ran out of the marriage. How did, they, how did she do that? Immediately she saw that my own dad was not going to back out from this behavior, beating her to stupor. And you know the funniest stuff? My mom was even richer than my father. Yes, she made him rich. Majority of the properties that my dad has today, thanks be to my own mom after God. My mom introduced him to businesses, brought canteen to those to the space from there they grew up an hotel there was bakery there was a lot of shops there was different stuffs it was during my mom's marriage to my dad that she introduced my father into the business of cement sales and the likes and from there they were getting money to build what they now call estates but i tell you most of the time when you see men beating up their wives like this, especially the wives that are very, somehow very advanced, popularly known and the likes, is because there is a trait of insecurity. And they are, the, they, are the, they are the low mentality men that do not want their wife to be more than them. So they say. They want to be in charge. They want to be in control. But they are a bunch of idiots masquerading as men. They are not men. They are mean men. My mom left my dad, and she has her life to date. She's how many years now? All the children that she left with, she personally took good care of them. I want to believe that Osina, she shouldn't have died in this wedding, in this marriage, so to say. Because I, I believe that with what God has placed on her, she could have gone out peacefully. Even taking her children, if her children are still very small she should have just carried her children out of that marriage the only thing the bible did not say that a woman should die it was not written in the scripture that thou must die in the hand of your supposed wicked stupid unthinking husband but what the bible says people should read the bible very well what the bible says is that god does not like divorce that means that what when you divorce under some circumstances, God doesn't like it. Doesn't mean that situation might not warrant you divorcing your husband. But the only thing maybe in Christendom is that that oath that till death do you part. He didn't say that till death, stupid death from one of you that is not ready to think as a human being do you part. No, he says till death, natural death, circumstantial death do you part. Meaning that what? You might not remarry. He didn't say you cannot break up. Let's get that straight. So, if you are in such relationship and your husband, so to speak, is malandering you, please, run for your life. Because you might not be alive to tell the story. It's so painful. As I'm seeing the story of Osinachi, is bringing back the memory that I prayed out of my heart to forgive my dad. It took me how many years? Maybe 20 years later to forgive my dad. Because I believe I was I was in the university before I now like pray this thing out to forgive him because all my mindset was when I grow up I just want to go back beating to stupor. I'm just telling you, I'm not hiding. I, I that was what I grew up with. That every punches he has ever thrown at my mom, I am there to revenge as a first child. But in the process of healing, I got healed out of this. And I decided to forgive and forget about it. After all, he's dead. But one shocking thing was that when he died, my own mom was crying. And I was surprised that why are you crying for this wicked man? Just for you to have an idea of, of the bitterness you guys, you men, you allowed in the act of your children towards you when you beat their mom. If you are there and you are seeing this video, you are an habitual wife beater you will not succeed unless you repent and change if you are tired of the woman let the woman pack her things and go don't kill her because of your mental derange is it mental derange or whatever i i, I want to believe that any man that raise up his hand to beat his wife is mentally unstable and is not fit for wedding not to even wed an animal should be locked up somewhere if this is actually true, that this man 
mal handled this woman, then the capital punishment for somebody that kills should be emitted out to him. And I wish it's televised so that men like him can see the result of wickedness. I'm so sorry sounding out this way, but if you have ever gone through what I went through, you will know that men like that are just a bunch of jokers that should never smell the word marriage. And please, you are a lady, you are living with that man, and he's not allowing you to work. He's not allowing you to get your source of income separate. <laughs> That's how it started. They will show you love. They want to be the one to buy your laundry. They want to be the one to buy your toothpaste. They want to be the one to buy everything for you. It's a, it's a toxic preparation you are, you are going towards. Whenever you see a man that doesn't want you to work, he doesn't want you to have your own financial freedom, that, those are the signs. I think I, I will gather myself after now. I and my wife will, will make another video to help youths coming up in marriage young stars coming up in marriage tell these signs to look out for and run because any man that doesn't want you to match up with him or to be above him he is not a man we are not marriage is not a space for competition marriage is a space whereby two people two good heads two reasonable human beings have decided to come together to bring out the best they could ever be not as a standalone machine in which one is subjected to, to being a slave and the other one is parading himself as what? As a driver, why the other one is conductor? So please, majority of the women that are passing through these kind of challenges, they are thousands of them there in the churches, I tell you. Because the churches always teaches forgiveness. Forgive, but pack your load and let the man be a man. And if at all you really want to get back into the marriage, then take this man that is almost not qualified to be a man. When I'm calling such person man, I'm using the small letter word. Man. Man. Take them to what? To the correctional center. Let them sign. Let them be taken to the proper authority. Let them sign that any call from you that you are being beaten or harassed by, harassed by them. That's they are going to face the full wrath of the law before you can even think of coming back. I tell you, there is no need dying in an insane marriage. Osinachi should have just pulled out. If some churches like, maybe they don't understand the reason why she packed, she pulled out. If they like, let them not invite her for ministration. That is their cup of tea. It is the ends that justify the means. And as for the white beaters out there, I wish the long arm of the law to squeeze you very soon. In fact, even the look of Osinachi Wanchuku before her death never matched her status. You wouldn't believe that she was just 42 years, as in I was thinking she was 50 years, not knowing that she was really going through serious maltreatment I used, to, I used to look at her as like a grandma or something or somebody that is in her 50s close to 60s and the likes of that who would ever believe that that woman is a young woman at 42 i mean she did not even get to enjoy the marriage there was no care and there was this news flying around that even the money uh, from ministration is not paid to her it's paid to her husband so we might even need to ask, what, what, is the, what is the occupation of this man? You might find out that he's one of those men that do not have any, any reasonable means of livelihood. But they want to be, they want to be the one calling the shots. Calling the shot of, who knows, who knows him? Till Without the wife. This, uh, till, until he killed this uh, woman. Uh, the, 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 what I would say is just shout out cry out for those of uh, the young ladies that have not gone into marriage marriage is not just about love <laughs> i heard well about marriage before i went into it marriage is serious work 
And that work must be the work that the Holy Spirit is guiding you in. There will be storms in marriages. But the fact is, once your marriage is built on the solid rock, it's not going to, it's not going to fall. And that solid rock can only be gotten when you have the right man. It's built on Jesus, and Jesus will give you the right man. I remember <laughs> because I wanted, up, to, I wanted to cut in, because is when you are saying sounding spiritual, please. Uh, we should also be very careful when we are sounding spiritual. There is a space for spirituality and there is a space for physicality. Physicality is the fact that this young man that I'm going with, apart from God blessing the marriage, is he allowing his brain and his behavior to also bless the marriage and make the marriage sensible? Because most of the time you find out that people just act spirituality, spirituality, it will be better. Please, if your husband is beating you, spouncing on you, it will not be better until you make sure that you get out of that marriage. Yes. Get out, step out. If you really want to, if the man loves you and he comes back for, for you and you think you want to get, allow him back, hmm. then you need to take him to places yes. he will sign. It will sign a whole lot. This and this will happen even if it is in, in his, his dream. dream. Yes. Even if in his dream, he slapped you in a dream. You wake up with the mark in your dream. Then this and this should happen to him. Those are the precautions that should be placed, not just. So once he knows that the law will take its full effect on him, he will not just be able to do you anyhow. As <laughs> I don't even know uh, the the thing that people carry out nowadays carry. Or about and they say it's conscience. Some people are they have dead conscience. Some people are animals. As in because masquerading as men. Using your hand to beat your own self. It's it's really insane. And oh, please let me quickly chip this in. If you are watching this and you are going through such experience, please we we are couple. We are just married for about maybe eleven years plus. I just 11 years plus in marriage, but I tell you, we can assist you in a way, in one way or the other. We run a foundation. Please, if you are going through such challenges, especially those of you, I've just mentioned one telltale sign. Men that want to keep you as an idiot, as a slave, they will not want you to walk. So if you are there and your husband is not allowing you to walk and they say, find the first means of empowering yourself. If you are interested in learning any craft, reach out to us on this number. Wherever you are, you are interested, you are in such marriages that the husband doesn't want you to do anything, my dear, don't talk too much. Reach out to us. We can look at what you love to do and we can see, even if you're distant, if you are far away from our location, our training location, we can look for how to enroll you somewhere around your environment where you can be trained. You need skills so that once you get these skills and you have source of income, you will be gaining the opportunity to for what for self-respect. And the other way, if your husband, if your spouse is also what is maltreating you in numerous ways and you can voice out, please reach out to us. I think we we, we know we, we we know how to get you in contact with necessary authorities that can assist you out of such bondage called marriage. Because people should not die this way again. This death is so painful. You have a destiny to fulfill. You can't just die like, like this. No, no. So please voice out, no matter what the man or the woman is saying, because some women are also very wicked yeah. and they are assaulting some very some men. gentle men. Yeah. So voice out. Reach out to if us. it's the woman that owns the breath, if she's not the one that owns the breath you're breathing. Maybe she's the one that she's very rich or whatever. Voice out as a man. Voice out as a woman. This is let's just say no to this type of. And if it, apart from that, there are some other there are some parents with a cake mentality that their children are running to them, telling them that this man is beating me. They will still send the child back. And don't worry, everything will be better. Marriage. Endure because of the marriage. What they are just simply saying is they, they prefer you to die in that marriage than for you to be alive. So you better, please, give yourself the sixth sense. Reach out to us on this WhatsApp number. Let us know how we can come out to help you. I, we can help you either by voicing out the matter to the whole world. Let them know what you are passing through. Let the law enforcement agency go and do their job. Pick up that man or the woman. 
You understand? And make them sign some things that will prevent them from assaulting you. You have a right to leave. Don't allow any man just cut short your life. Yes, and that's just it today. So it's a painful one. I regards to the children of Osinachi. We pray they come out of this. And please don't allow yourself into this. So do reach out to us. Remain the settles. So we come your way in our next video. Catch you. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.